Good morning. My name is Michael Richards. I'm the King of Arms for AssumeArms.com. It's a heraldry website where I do her heraldic artwork. And uh, today we're going to talk about colors in heraldry uh, because the colors are the basis for just about everything that goes on in heraldry. Uh, it's, it's one of the easiest ways to distinguish your coat. It's also one of the easiest ways to make an inference to someone else's coat. So if you maybe have the last surname, but you weren't really part of the family, but you'd like to kind of allude to the fact that, hey, that they got the same name as me. Maybe you want to use the same colors. So, Or if you're from a country, say Spain, you might want to use uh, red and gold to sort of insinuate that without actually being so blatant as to put a flag on it or something goofy like that. So colors are really important in heraldry, and we're going to talk about all the basic ones. These are all the basic ones. I have a double of the black here, as you can see. So we have um, gold, silver, or white. Uh, black, red, blue, green, and purple. Those are the main ones. We're going to get to their heraldic names in just a minute. So the heraldic names look like this. Um, the heraldic names, um, if you look at this, it says uh, Argent, Abin, Sinister, Sanguine. Those are all almost all colors. Argent, okay, Argent is silver or white. Sanguine is this burgundy or maroon color. Okay, so they all have their own special names. So now let's go back to this and look at their special names. So we have, they're also broken up into several different classes. So we have the traditional colors up here in the top. And these are the, these top uh, two metals and five colors. And what I mean by metals and colors is they're broken up, these traditionals, into the metals, which are silver and gold, or ore and argent, and the tinctures, which are uh, sable, guiles, uh, azure, vert, and purpure. Those are the heraldic names for them. That's what you'll see on a blazon, which is the thing that I was reading just a minute ago. Um, there's also some modern colors, and these come in down here. I'm using one of them here uh, called sanguine. It's a blood-colored red. Then there's tenne or tawny, and that's orange. And we have uh, cindre or cinder, which is a dark gray. And we have brunetre, and forgive my French, I'm sure it's horrible, um, which is brown. Uh, Celeste, which is a sky blue. This one is Murray or Mulberry, which is sort of a, well, as you can see, it's different than Purpura. Purpura is sort of the classic purple. Then we have Rose or Pink, and we're back to Sable again here. So again, that's uh, Gold or Ore, Silver or Argent. And by the way, Silver is always prepared, prepare, uh, displayed as White like this over here. So you'll see that on this helmet, I've got a little bit of real silver, if you will, because it's a helmet and that's okay. But typically when you do the shield, it's usually white. Um, you certainly can do silver, but the way it was originally done is that the, the shield itself was a metal color. It was usually silver uh, in color. So what it was is they'd paint this stripe on here and they would just leave this default. The thing is, when you get on paper, nobody was painting silver. Uh, the, the, the tincture for that, the actual paints and things weren't really very sophisticated. It was very difficult to make that color. So they would just leave it white um, when they were displaying it in heraldry, uh, in, in the actual arms. So on the real shield, yeah, it was probably silver. And it's fine. Um, I have definitely seen it done this way, and I'll show you what it looks like real quick. Um, so that's a silver. As you can see, it's kind of silvery, um, but it really doesn't add a lot to it. So most of the time you'll just see it as white. Uh, again, black and sable, red or guiles, and that's a, uh, a, a pure red, a Ferrari red, if you will. Uh, uh, the blue is azure, and that's a traditional sort of, royal, not royal blue, but just a pretty standard straight up blue, a cobalty, if you will. Uh, vert is green. Purpure is purple. So that's all of our colors, and that's what we do with them. So you will. there's some rules, and the reason these are broken into metals and tinctures is because there's the uh, you don't want to put a metal on a metal or a tincture on a tincture. And what I mean by that, and I'll show you some examples right over here, here is an example of what you're not supposed to do if this were the arms themselves. This is gold or ore against argent or silver, and that's a metal on a metal. And that's not usually done. The reason it's done here is because the helm actually is, was made this way. And you will see examples of gold on silver. The arms of Jerusalem are one in particular. It's uh, gold uh, on top of silver. Uh, so it's doable. It's just not practical and it doesn't look very good usually. Um, it's really nice for making something sort of special. And that's why the arms of Jerusalem are kind of um, unique because they're the, there's, there's definitely other examples, but those are the most common ones. 
So an example, and the reason you don't do it is because of contrast. It's a contrast rule. So really, if you're standing across the battlefield and you see these arms, you can see really quick at a glance that it's uh, burgundy, right, or blood or sanguine against white. That's the first thing from way back before you can read any of this. You see that pretty clearly. Now, if, for example, I had put this sanguine with another against another of the tinctures, say purple, now you can see the problem, right? Uh, you know, you see that across the battlefield. I'm not sure what two colors those are, and they probably blend together and make sort of just a muddy purple color, right? So that's the main rule that you don't want to violate is the, the rule of tincture or the rule of contrast. Uh, so metals don't go against metals. They go next to colors. So in this case, we have the white against the color. And so that's what you'll find most of the time, and those are the basic heraldry colors. Again, my name is Michael Richards. I'm the king of arms of Assume Arms. If you have any other heraldry questions, leave them in the comments or uh, give us a call or go check out the website and I'll be happy to help you.